I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child. For an entire day. Ah, good times. Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arleman was what I was hired to do. Lady Isold had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. You, a blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Yes, when the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. He only said that Arl Aemon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was... humiliating. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Son. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. 
I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. I'd... well, I'd try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Shall be done. Ask me anything. Would you like something? As you say. <laughs>
Where to? say. I will help however I can. Alessa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters...
I'll find my way. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you. It shall be done. Very well. Very well. I shall do it. It is begun. Very well.
So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him. Breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that, mind you. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? Oh, what's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Here I am! Here am I! <laughs> I like him better this way! <laughs> no more yelling! Now he amuses me! <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us. What have you come here for? So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I... Don't think. Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. We must not exhaust him. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. 
Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew, but he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So... someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Very well.
this? This is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance, as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. I don't know what to say. I'm honored. Thanks again. begun. It shall be done. As you say. I shall do it. It is begun. As you say.
Very well. It shall be done. It is begun. It is begun. Is begun. Go away. She won't like you being here. She'll just try to hurt you. I'm always me. But sometimes a scary lady takes over. I feel like I'm sleeping. But I guess I'm not. I tried to stop her, but I can't. She said she'd help father. I didn't think she'd hurt everyone. Honestly, I didn't. She's a bad person. I heard her in my dreams, and then she was everywhere. Sometimes she's nice. She says she just wants to help me, but then she gets very mean. Demons are liars. She won't tell me. She says names have power. But somebody has to stop her from hurting anyone else. I don't know how much longer she'll be gone for, but she's always watching. She won't let you near father. She'll just come back again, and then... Just tell everyone to stay away, especially mother. I don't want her to see me like this. All right, please hurry. All right. The scary lady went away and everyone was fighting. So I ran to my room Then she made me come here. She wants to be near father. Because they would take him away. She says as long as father's here, people will keep coming for him. People like you, I guess. She wants to hurt you. She likes to hurt people, and it, it scares me. No, she's the one who does that, not me. After, after mother put Jowen in the dungeon, I snuck into his room. I found his books, the ones he wouldn't let me read. I wanted to help father. I shouldn't have tried, I guess. But Mother was so sad, and I wanted to make her happy. And the bad lady started talking to me, in my sleep. And when I would wake up, I'd have done things I didn't remember. It's all my fault. You should go. She'll come back soon. Will Father be all right? Mother said they'd send help eventually. I hope it's soon. Shall be done.
I have no doubt that it is because of you we have survived this night and emerged victorious. I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and... and magic. It is unnatural. Oh, it is sad. We defeat one evil only to have a greater one lying on the horizon. We must reassemble Redcliffe's army quickly. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the Circle is well on its way to recovery. The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. Will you stop eating? Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? Oi. Who's that? Oh! 
has begun. Be done. Trap right Shall ahead. Shall be done. Right ahead. I shall do it. Right away. Let us be on our way. Of course. and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. It only works because the child gave himself to the demon willingly. If the demon takes over the host forcibly, we must slay the abomination. We have only enough lyrium for one attempt. I hope you succeed. Such a young lad deserves better than execution. It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? Me? Confront the demon? Uh, this is a lot to ask. Oh, I suppose I do at that. So be it. I shall confront this demon myself. 
Let us begin at once. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you! I'm coming! Father! Where are you? I don't understand. It's so cold. I want to go home. Please, Father. I only want to help you. You there. Have you seen my son? I can, I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. You are in the fade, good man. A demon has you trapped here. But is my son in danger? He is, but I will do my best to see that all of us emerge from this unscathed. Trust me, my Arl. Yes, I, I, I trust you. We must help my son. But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. Is anyone out there? Hello? Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. Be calm, child. I have come to help you. No! You're here to hurt father! I know it! I won't let you! making father sick. Curse this blasted darkness! Why can I see nothing? Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Please, child, listen to me. I am here to help you. I will not speak with you! Trespasser! I will drive you out! Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Because you have taken a child, demon. Our world is not your world. Surely you must realize this by now. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you.
Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I demand that you release the boy at once, foul spirit! Release him? Do not be foolish, old man. This is my place of power. I do as I wish here. Truly, is there no room for negotiation? Let us speak, human. Surely there is something you desire. Hmm? You think me a fool? There is nothing I wish from the likes of you! Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. It is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for... training, once the war is over. 
It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Released? Are you mad? Why would you do such a thing? I agree with Isolde. He's a Maleficar. We cannot simply unleash him on the land and ignore his crimes. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. That is a possibility. But there is a reason it's still an option. I am not simply grasping at straws. My husband funded the research of a scholar in Deneram, a brother Genetivi. He has been studying the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, I sent the knights to speak to Genetivi. I hoped that he had finally discovered the location of the urn of sacred ashes itself. They were unable to locate Genetivi. In desperation, I sent more knights in search of the brother, or some clue of the urn's location. Eamon is well respected and powerful. He can pull Ferelden together. If you wish to fight the Darkspawn, you will need him. I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? I have nothing to give you, except, if we are fortunate, my brother and the armies he can muster. But for that, we need the urn. If you wish more, speak with him once he is revived. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the only place to begin the search, I think. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. I have faith that you will find a way to help my husband. Bless you, Grey Warden. You saved us all. You have. You. You're the one who saved me. I remember having a bad dream. There was a very scary lady. But she went away. I hope Father gets better soon. He will. Won't he? I hear you saved the Arl's son. That's got to count for something. At least working here, we get a roof over our head and the army's protection. If the Darkspawn come, we'll need it. I suppose you can't blame the boy. Even if he has magic, his death wouldn't have helped anything, would it?
It will take years to sort out the castle properly. If we even get the chance. It shall be done. Up. I don't want to even think about what happened here. It is good you resolve this demon business. Now we must either revive the Arl or allow Van Tegan to take his place. You return. Might you have news? Yes, but they are returning slowly. No doubt the war's progress as well as the Darkspawns, hinders many of them. Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the Urn might be our only hope. Then I must resume my duties. The civil war continues, and Loghain is no doubt angered Redcliffe has not been disabled. Good luck, my friend. I hope this continues to go well for all our sakes. I am proud I played a small part in protecting Redcliffe with you. Without your help, we would surely have fallen. Oh, it is sad. We defeat one evil only to have a greater one lying on the horizon. We must reassemble Redcliffe. Word went out to retrieve the Isle's men even more quickly. This battle is but one victory. The battle with the Darkspawn yet remains. I hear you saved the Isle's son. That's got to count for something. It is begun. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sire. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing.
My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. Thank you, kind sir. I'd never have been able to return to my father if it wasn't for you. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong, and he moved on. A little something extra, for friendship. I will help however I can. <laughs> 